Hi there! Welcome back to East Coast Training Zone or welcome if it is your first time here with us. My name is Carla and I'll be guiding you through a strong core workout on the TRX today in this video. Um, strong, so I do um, advise you to have some experience on the TRX although we will start with some foundational movements in this uh, core workout i will take you through the basic planks before we get into the more challenging work for this workout you need your trx at only one length it's mid calf length all the time there's no warm-up round in this workout but i do advise you to do one um, you can choose one of my warm-up videos or pre-workout videos uh, on my on-demand platform. Right, we're going to start with planks. So get ready for that. I already told you, you have your straps at mid-calf length. Drop your foot cradles over your toes. Turn onto your front. And then uh, there's two ways you can start a plank. I'll show you both and uh, you choose what works best for you. So you can start on your knees. I'm gonna start with an elbow plank or forearm plank. So be on your forearms, spread your fingers, have as much base of support as possible. Keep your feet leveled and flexed. Push your shoulders down and back and engage your core. And then you can take your left leg out, straighten it and the right one follows. So this is one way of getting into a plank. The other way is totally down, so you're fully on your front and um, in front everything is the same. You're on your forearms, you're pushing your shoulders back. In the back your feet are leveled and flexed. And then you should be uh, concentrating on your core, engage your core, squeeze your glutes, tighten your abs and then you can lift into your plank from here. Keep your feet flexed all the time, toes to nose. Keep your um, glutes and your abs engaged. Apples in your glutes, not applesauce. And then this is the second way of doing your plank. Okay, then for the high plank, uh, you have to start from your knees, no other way. I also spread my fingers here, because also here I want as much uh, base of support as I can have. I usually also turn my hands out a little bit, like a corkscrew. Shoulders right above my wrists. I push my shoulders back. Again, I will flex my feet and then one leg out and the other leg out. And then I'm pushing myself a little bit more back. So my shoulders are right above my wrists. No sinking hips, keep that plank active, keep squeezing your glutes and tightening your abs. Okay, so let's do a bit of a longer plank now on forearms. Choose your way of getting into the plank. I'm gonna start uh, from my front side, not from my knees and uh, yeah, everything else I already told you. So push your shoulders back, flex, your feet, point your toes towards the floor, engage your core, squeeze your glutes, tighten your abs, be a plank before you're a plank and then lift and let's hold it now for 30 seconds. 30 seconds is not that long but I want you to keep your plank active all the time so no sinking hips here at all. 20 seconds more. Keep breathing as well. Don't stop breathing in this plank. 15 seconds left. Make sure your shoulders are right above your elbows. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and then lower yourself onto your knees and I always tell people to do a back stretch after every plank. Why? Because it's a nice counter movement. So if you like, do it now. You can round on your back. It's like a child pose stretch in yoga. 
but with your feet still in the straps because we're needing them again for our next one let's do another 30 seconds plank on hands this time so spread your fingers push your shoulders back flex your feet and engage your core one leg out other leg out push yourself a little bit more back so your shoulders are right above your wrist and uh, time already started 20 seconds left and also here keep engaging keep squeezing your glutes apples in your glutes not applesauce i really like that one i always tell people because it reminds you uh, to keep them tight right we're going into our last 10 seconds 10 nine eight seven six five four three two and lower your knees again if you like you can do a back stretch here for about five to ten seconds relaxing those muscles you just uh, engaged and then let's go into a side plank Okay, so the side plank, the easiest way is to start on your side, on your hip, with your feet leveled and your upper leg, upper foot in front. Then here, my shoulder is right above my elbow. And this hand is useful too, because it's gonna help me uh, go up. I'm gonna push myself up into my plank. Now, always remember to keep your shoulders stacked and your hips stacked as well. So let's uh, do this. Engage your core. Let's push up. The first thing I do is have my feet touch. Then I'm going to try to bring my arm all the way up. Shoulders stacked and hips stacked. And if you like, you can even widen your feet, your legs for a while and then hold it here for another 10 seconds 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 now you can also start in a different way to do a side plank you can start from your knees on your hands right and then you place your left elbow on the floor. Place this hand here. Get into a plank. Make sure your feet are leveled. Flex your knees slightly, turn, and then bring your hand up. So that's the other way of uh, getting into your plank. So let's see how we do it on the other side. You can choose from the floor, from your hip, or immediately uh, into a side plank on your right forearm. Okay, I'm gonna start from my side. So again, my feet are leveled, my upper leg is in front, my knees are slightly flexed. Shoulder and elbow in one line, I'm on my hip and I push myself up, I have my feet touch and I bring my hand up shoulders stacked hips stacked and hold it for another 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 and out okay also after these i would like you to do a short back stretch just to relax these muscles. Okay, so we're done with the basics. We're ready to do some more challenging work now. So I'm gonna take you into pikes right away. On hands, so in a high plank, in a TRX plank. Are you ready for five of these? We're gonna do them really slow. Up with those hips, reaching for the dead point. Uh, in your pike and then back to plank. We're starting from a plank, obviously. All right, spread your fingers, push your shoulders back, have your feet flexed, get into your plank. 
And then let's get into the first spike. And back to plank. Not faster than this. Second one. Reaching for the dead point with your hips. Three. Four. And five. Back to plank and back down. Right, our next one is uh, not immediately another pike, but it will come after this next exercise. It's a side plank again, and we're gonna try to do it on a hand instead of a forearm. So your base of support will be a lot smaller. So what I want you to do is bring the right hand a little bit more back and the left one goes uh, to the middle of your mat. We get into a plank and then you're gonna turn into a side plank here. So keep your feet touched, arm goes up and hold it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 and return to the floor, <laughs> to your mat. Okay, so um, before we go into the next side plank on hands, we're gonna do five more pikes. Oh yes, so let's get back into a plank on hands, TRX plank, and do five more of these pikes. Are you ready? Push your shoulders back, engage your core, left out, right out and there we go all the way up and slowly back two three four and five and back down and then let's get into that second side plank, this time on your right hand. Okay, so let's uh, place the left hand a little bit to the side of your mat. The right one towards the middle of your mat. Engage your core. Left out, right out. Feet touch. Stabilize, don't start swinging. And then up with that arm, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I still find that a very hard one, but we did it. <laughs> we are through with round number two. Round number three starts with um, a knee tuck. So, what is a knee tuck? We're actually aiming to go back into a pike and then when we're up we're bringing the knees slightly in not all the way to the chest because that will bring you out of your pike again so we're going up slight knee tuck and then back five repetitions always returning to that base plank right so we're on hands again Push your shoulders back, engage your core, feet are flexed. Let's get into our plank. Okay, and then from here, pike, knee tuck, back, plank. Pike, knee tuck, back, plank. Number three, pike, knee tuck, back, plank. Four. Up, knee tuck, back, plank, last one. Up, knee tuck, back, plank, and down. All right, we're going back into a side plank, this time to do a hip drop, so impossible on a hand. <laughs> we're going down onto our 
elbow. So I'm gonna start from my hips. Uh, it's my preferred way to do my side planks. Um, so yeah, let me show you first. My feet are leveled. I'm getting into my side plank. For this one, I put my hand on my hip and then I lower my hip and bring it back to my plank. Lower close to the floor and I'm back to plank. 10 repetitions. Are you ready for this? After this one, we're going back to our pike with knee tuck. So be prepared. I told you it was gonna be a strong workout and it is. All right, are you ready? Let's get into that side plank first. Your feet touch, you place your hand on your hip and then let's do this. One, two, be careful not to swing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one. All right, and out of this, I told you, we were going straight back into pikes with knee tuck. So let's not waste any time and do this right away. So get ready for another plank on hand. Spread your fingers, push your shoulders back. Have your feet flexed and leveled. And then get into your plank. And then let's pike. Knee tuck, back, plank. Pike, knee tuck, back, plank number three. Pike, knee tuck, back, plank. Two more. Pike, knee tuck, back, and plank. And last one, up, knee tuck, and back to plank and down. Okay, this means we're going on to the other side for the hip drops. So let's get onto that side or get into your side plank in your preferred way. Are you ready? Feet are leveled, flex knees, let's push up, let's have the feet touch. Bring your hand to your hips, shoulders stacked, so are the hips. And then one, two, three, four, five, Keep it stable, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, and back to your front. Still with our feet in the straps, we're not done yet. Woo, another back stretch for me. Join me if you like. I do hope you're still with me. Uh, we're gonna do one more round in this uh, strong core workout. So the last one uh, will start with a plank with abduction, but not both legs, only one leg will go out. So I'm going to start by keeping my left leg straight in plank and my right leg will move out Core control, that's why we do it. Let's see how well, how good you can uh, keep control over your core. We're gonna do it in a high plank, um, but if you feel like your wrists are not up to it anymore, then you can do it, of course, also in an elbow plank, no problem. Okay, I'm going back onto my hands. My fingers are spread, hands are turned out a little bit. My feet are flexed. And leveled and I'm getting into my plank okay now left leg is not gonna move not even one millimeter the right leg is moving out and then comes back out back keep the left leg still three we do ten four five Five more. Core control, six, keep engaging. Seven. Eight, it's getting really difficult now. Nine. 
and last one. Let's take a break from this. We'll do the other side later. I want to do something different now, something fun. I call it the frog plank. So um, we're back in a plank and we're bringing the knees um, towards the elbows on the outside. I will show you. So I'm getting back into my plank and then knees out and back. Looks a bit like a frog, doesn't it? Okay, let's do 10 of these, not too fast. Keep it controlled as well, but it's fun, you'll notice. All right, let's get into that plank again and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and last one all right maybe a quick back stretch here okay are you up to that next one so this time we keep the right leg still and the left one is moving out abduction movement for 10 repetitions again keep that core controlled that's your ultimate test for it Get into your plank, good plank here, and then go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last two, nine, and last one, back down, a quick stretch. And then we're ready for the very last moves. Let's get back to that frog, um, frog plank. So let's get uh, into that plank once more. Bring the knees to the outside of your elbows for 10 repetitions. One. Two, three, four, five. You feel that in your abs as well. Six, seven, eight. Close to your elbows with that knee. Nine and ten. And yes, you can take your feet out and let's go straight into a child pose stretch here so bring your big toes together widen your knees and then curve your back and get into a nice stretch for those back muscles for your lower back and hold it for about 20 seconds and come back up That was a tough workout <laughs> if you did it with me uh, throughout till the end then uh, congratulations if you want you can do it again I won't <laughs> I think uh, it was enough to challenge your core uh, in one go and then um, yeah have some stretches uh, also here you can find some post workout videos on my uh, channel on my on demand platform and uh, then I hope to see you very, very soon in one of my next workouts. Thank you.